Okay guys, welcome to the MAMT 120 and 230 online video series. I have run out of good YouTube videos to give you guys and quiz you on. So instead, we're going to do it in the shop as if we were all here since we can't be here together. Now, what are we gonna be doing? We are going to be making our COVID cooking kit, right? Uh, in this interactive video project series. Um, within our cooking kit, we have our meat hammer and or our meat tenderizer. We have our meat hammer handle that will connect to the meat hammer itself. Um, and we also will have the chef knife, since I all know you guys want to make chef knives in the shop knives of any kind since we can't actually do it we'll do it on video um, and that will just be uh, kind of a bonus um, we'll use the oven we'll do some tempering um, we'll make it out of a2 steel uh, so on and so forth you won't be quizzed on that all right so in this video series there will be nine videos in four weeks all right uh, four weeks is the end of the college semester. Even though high school goes uh, two weeks past that, the video series will end in four weeks and you'll have to have all of your assignments turned in by then. Um, so each one of these videos will have an assignment to turn in. Um, it might be a written assignment. It might just be quiz questions. Uh, we'll see as we get there. Uh, um, okay. So let's get on with today's assignment and some details about our meat hammer. On D2L, you will be able to go to your learning materials and download your print, just like you do with every other uh, print in the class. Um, you can um, open it there or download it, print it off. I don't care how you do it. Just make sure you get it. And your meat hammer head looks like this. Right? <clears throat> um, also, you will have the handle. Which looks like this. So, make sure you download those so that you can take a look at it. The first thing that you're going to do is just the same thing as that we do every time we uh, start a project in here. We evaluate this print, right? Evaluate that print. Um, then, once you've looked the print over well, you're going to go to your D2L into the assessments tab and quizzes, just like we normally do for all our quizzes, and take the five question quiz on D2L. Right? Super easy. This is not a hard thing. You're going to look at this print and you're going to answer these five questions. All right. Um, after we do that, we're going to continue with the next video and we're going to start actually 